he, he literally asked around to get the daughter's name to message the daughter because he needed to fucking message the daughter. This fucking wall of text. Dude, that is fucked up. You are a psychopath. I'm, I'm crazy for obsessing like this, right? I'm a little crazy for this already. But what he did is way more insane, bro. That is insane. I can't get it out enough. Yeah, like, I just want people to know, bro. Because when I see people, like, not knowing this shit... Yeah, I'm a detective, man. I'm a journalist. Yeah, Reed. He reported my video numerous times. Not only did he report my video, he complained about my video so many times to PA over and over and over again that they finally were like, all right, listen, we're going to make... We're going to... We need you both to agree that you're not going to shit talk each other or even talk about each other anymore. If you do, you're going to lose partner. And they made me take down the video, the big video on him, the 10-minute one. And I agreed to it at first. Um, but eventually I said, you know what? I don't like this. I don't like not being able to talk about somebody. So I'm just, I left the partner program so I could fr speak freely and have free speech on my platform. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's how, that's how much of a fucking bitch he is. Not only that... But dude, I he was streaming, right? He deleted the stream. There was a stream right after war. Barcode got farmed by Ethereum, right? And everybody was fucking with him in his stream. And he was in his stream just banning people left and right. He even banned Roots. He was banning everyone in his chat for like fucking with him. And he's like, fuck you all. This is my platform. I can say what I want. I'm a fat, bold, fucking 40-year-old loser. And then I was like following him around town. And he was getting so mad, and then he was finally like, he was, he literally looked at my character and was like, you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do that. I know what you're doing. You don't want to do that. And he was like, I'm telling you, this is how you get banned. And he, then he stopped and fucking messaged the GMs to complain about me following him in game. Fucking fat. Like, how do you do that, bro? How much of a bum can you be? It's a fucking video game. To get to that point. To message it and be like, Gold's following me around town. No wonder you're fucking bald at 30. What happened with you and Blue? Nothing really happened, just... The main thing is... Me and him were arguing about, like, stupid little, like, content react stuff. Like, baby dick shit. No big deal. But then... Once I started, like, shit-talking him a lot, a lot of people were messaging me and being like, Bro, do you know, who, like, how much of a scumbag this guy really is? Like, I love that you're shitting on him because he's actually a scumbag. And I was like, what do you mean? And they filled me in on how... When he got fired, he blames people from BDO, and they got, like, tons of flack over it. And they they didn't, they didn't weren't the reason he got fired, bro. Like, again, his theory is they called the school, or they called a student and told the student that he streams, and to spread it around school to get him fired or something. Like, bro, what, what do you think? They Googled, like, the school? They found you, they researched to find your school and then researched to find the student from the school to contact and fill in on this information? Like, that's nuts, man. You know how much work that is? That's crazy. So, no. That's super unreal. And if that happens, if they contacted a student, then th that student would have been able to point out, like, yeah, somebody told me. You know, like, there's no... By now, the truth would have came out if that's what happened. And there isn't the truth. Dude, his father's on the board. Like, his father's, like, a prominent member of that school, you know? So, and he had to agree to fire him, by the way. That's his position. So, he had to approve that Brute needed to get fired, first of all. But second of all, what's it called? The truth, his father would have had the true story, too. Like, Blue doesn't, apparently doesn't know what, why they, you know, like, other than that they knew, they found out he was streaming and they didn't want him to teach as a streamer. But how they found out, he thinks he doesn't know. Like, the fact that he allegedly doesn't know how the school found out that he streams is total bullshit. There's no way he wouldn't know that by now. You know, like, that's why, to me, it's just clearly a fake story. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He spun the story to look like a victim, got Asmongold to hear about it. Asmongold and his community hate women, so Blue being like, yeah, a girl said I was messaging her, a woman said I was messaging her daughter and tried to brand me a pedophile. None of that happened. None of that was true. He got people to believe that because he said GMs confirmed that she reported him. He said GMs said that she reported him that he's harassing her daughter in a creepy pedophile way. She reported him for being a pedophile is what he said. And he said GMs confirmed it. That's not true. No, I talked to GMs. They didn't confirm. They, they, they have no evidence of that. So that's a lie. And to me, that's fucked up. The fact that he's a partner and he could make shit up like that and say GM said this and got get away with it, to me, that's fucked up. And that just shows that BDO doesn't give a f As long as you have viewers, BDO doesn't care what you do. They'll let you get away with anything. And that's fucked up.
They won't give pe partner to people like Neptunes, but they'll let Blue get away with that shit? Come on, bro. I bet his dad saw his stream and was like, what the fuck, beta milk cuck shit that I spawn and fired him. Oh, yeah. I mean, his parents kicked him out when he was younger, you know? So, obviously, like, he probably already had a bad relationship. And then his father has to deal with the embarrassment of him getting fired for being a, you know, for streaming while being a teacher and acting like an idiot on camera. You know how embarrassing that probably was for his dad? Like, I feel bad for his dad. And I hope he gets mad that I'm talking about it right now. You know, he got pissed that I mentioned his dad. Get fucked, bro. I don't give a fuck. But he's a fucking weirdo, man. He's a weirdo. Fuck that guy. Savage Stein. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. I got nothing to worry about. I ain't a BDO partner anymore. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Fuck that guy. Fuck PA for supporting him. Being a bunch of bums. All they care about is views. Giving free partner to people like Cannon. And all these people that don't barely even fucking know anything about BDO. Sonny from fucking WoW came over here. They offer, they go on a stream to tell him, I become a partner. Guy doesn't even know what a V is. As a previous officer of Reforged went through a mess, I am glad finally be out of the situation. So many mites with no sleep after all that. I heard it was nuts, bro. I heard it was nuts. We live in a society where any negative subject comes towards you is sensitive. It is. Even me talking about this, people would advise against it. People would say it's, it's not a good look. You don't want to be that guy complaining on stream and this and that. Listen, bro, I have a great time on stream all the time. I want to fuck around and shit talk somebody one night here and there to point, to point out some truth about a fellow, you know, uh, content creator in my community and bring awareness to other people that he's a piece of shit and a liar, a flat-out liar. Someone who flat-out lies comfortably. Yeah, I'm down to that. He made my life hell. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I did my best. I didn't do my best. I worked really hard, but there's still more I can do, and there's more I will do on that subject. I'm just waiting for the right time. There's more to be done. Fuck that guy, man. Fuck that bullshit. What am I dying to? Ah, corrupted. Alright, I can't play an optimal because I can't see any effects. So I'm just blindly doing this. That sucks. Hate bullshitters. You know, this is a subject that I can speak freely about from the heart. You know what I mean? Like, I just... It's... It's not, like, anything I have to worry about what I'm saying because, you know, something I'm saying is... It might offend people or this or that. It's just... It's all truth that I can just... So that's why it's a topic I love talking about. <laughs> Monkey King just starting rumors. Pass that around. Nah, I don't know why he got kicked out. I just know he talked about getting kicked out. Like, dude, anyone who has to ban people as often as he does and delete VODs and delete clips as often as he does, you know, it's just a... Delete comments on YouTube as often as he does. You know, like, bro, you'll never fully succeed if that's how you have to... You know, if you're that scared. What are you going to do when it's, like, too many people? Because, like, the, as you get bigger, you're going to get more and more haters. What are you going to do when it's too many haters for you to, to control? And eventually the truth is going to start coming out. People are going to speak their mind and you're not going to be able to hide what they say anymore. How do you handle that? You don't. You're, that's eventually you're gonna crumble if you can't accept that. If you can't accept people disliking you and and shit talking you. He's lucky he's got you know like the top viewer and category thing constantly bringing him back up. He loses he loses viewers fast often. He even has it. So if you're a uh, if you're banned, you can't watch his stream. I mean it's stupid because you could just go into what's it called. Um, incognito mode. So it's just like a cringy thing to do. Yeah, it just shows how, like, you know, it just shows how much of a baby you are to do that, you know? Stomp your feet. Even that he lied about. He turned that shit on for, like, a, a few days and then shut it off. And then he put it back on and was like, for the first time ever, I'm putting on where you ban incognito mode people. That's not true. It's not the first time. You had it for at least a couple days recently. Like, everything that guy said, he just lies out the ass, man. Dude, I called him out one... I, I, I laughed because he watched one of my clips on his stream. Someone sent it to him. And then he watched it on Pistanity. He reacted the same way both times. Like, the same words, everything. Like, that's... How do you... That's, like, the perfect way to show that somebody is a fake robot. When they watch the same thing twice and react the same way twice. That's so weird. To, I, it was so cringy to see that. You know, because it just shows how, like, unreal of a person you are. 
Like, could you have just said, ah, I already saw this clip? So you could have you could have just said that. But instead, he just chose to do the same like reaction to it. That's so fucking just weird, man. That shit was hard to see. I gotta try to find that. He watched a clip of me um lagging out in Siege. Oh no, he watched it. Yeah, because he watched it on Pistanity and he watched it in my YouTube video. And both times he kind of reacted the same way, and it was just like, Ugh. he br he brags about everything. That's why, like, he's genuinely a scumbag. Like, think about it. he wouldn't have got where he is if not for the the the, the literally made up victimized bullshit that Asmund Gold caught wind of and helped him out with. You know, if not for that, he would never be where he is right now. So he literally cheated to get where he is. Like, somebody like him who's as cocky and has as much of an ego as he does, it does you're not going to last. You cheated to get where you are. That means you don't deserve to be where you are. You're going to fall out of that. Sooner or later, you're going to fall out of there. You don't get to stay there. Because you're not capable of that type of situation. Threaten to stop posting content. Yeah, exactly, Reed. That was the... You know why he's threatened to stop posting content? Because during a siege, the homie Kai, who's a lawn was just flying in and killing him the whole siege. And he got so... He was like, this is why this game sucks and PvP sucks. Because I get stream sniped all the time. You're in siege, bro. You were literally... He was in siege defending castle. It was Barco defending castle. And he's complaining about Alon flying in and killing the stupid witch that's just standing there with their fucking thumb up their ass in the back line, not doing anything protected, flying in and one-shotting him over and over. And he's complaining that it's stream sniping and it's him being targeted by the shitty PvP community. And he was like, you want to do this to me? Fine. I'm not going to give you guys a PvP tournament. I'm not going to stream. I'm not going to upload content in your shitty category anymore. I'm the only content for BDO that matters. I'm the best content for BDO. He literally said all these things. There's a video of it because he deleted his VOD as he always does. As the fake person he is. It's fucked up, man. Bro, the balls. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, to me, like, I know it sounds like obs I am totally obsessing right now. And it's because, like, dude... In the real world, like, you don't get away with being that type of scumbag. That type of two-faced, that type of cocky, high-ego bullshit. You don't get away with that stuff. You will in be which, sure, for now. You keep banning everyone who talks about you. Ban people from your chat when they point it out to your chat. Your chat doesn't know any better because every time someone comes in to shed them light, you just... No, he's like 34 or something, I think. I actually don't know how old he is. He's like my age, I think. He might be, like, literally my age, a year a, a young, older or younger. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, because I did it, bro. I was a journalist for a fucking week. This video, bro. I worked as a journalist for a week to get all these details. I look, look at all this, bro. I broke down clips. I got, I got DMs. You can't delete the asthma go vod. You said Casella branded me as a pedophile. Well, she did. She did not, bro. I heard it straight from the CMs. That's him saying he heard from the GMs that she was saying he's a pedophile. You know, like that was a lie. It's another lie. Like this guy was just nuts. I got a whole fucking. Whole wall of bricks, as fucking C. Zane said. <laughs> C. Zane was reading these, and he's reading them slow. And somebody in his chat was like, bro, do you not know how to read? And he's like, no, leave me alone. He's like, I'm over here reading bricks for the fucking stream. Cut me some slack. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. The way he said, reading bricks. Because they put everything on these bricks for this wall of bullshit. Here. This is, all right, I don't give a fuck, bro. We're going to take a minute. I'm going to read you this, okay? So he... So I'm gonna explain the story. All right, he, his, he was in a guild, Reforged, whatever the fuck it was, the Alliance, whatever it was. Somebody named Casello or whatever the name is was the GM. Blue was obviously a top officer in the guild. They start arguing. We'll leave out the details. They start arguing over bullshit. Mainly, it's because I think it had to do with Blue slowly leaning away from his like guild activities because he was focusing more on the stream and he was let, leaving shit out. So he got mad that she blocked him, right? And the, part of the reason why she blocked him is because not only was she complete, she, to put this into more detail, she just recently got diagnosed with cancer. She was going through chemo. She literally couldn't hang out and do officer stuff as often because she was going through chemo, bro. She was sick, nauseous, throwing up. She'd literally be like, hey, guys, I got I, 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 I to gotta dip out for a while. I'm nauseous. I got to go deal with this and go literally throw up and shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's what she was dealing with. So 
Oh, it's worse. There's more than... I, I'm leaving shit out right now, Shirley, because I haven't talked about this in a while. But so her ex-boyfriend was an officer in the guild. He starts complaining that, you know, calling him out for breaking up with her after finding out she had cancer and shit. Like, in officer chat, in public conversation, saying shit like that. And they're like, dude, don't bring up our real lives in here. Don't weaponize our fucking lives to make try to make my, you know, this guy look like a shithead. What the fuck is wrong with you? Shit like that. And it, he keeps going and pushing, so she blocked him. So... After she blocks him, he decides to message her daughter in the guild, who barely does never spoke to Blue before. The only time Blue spoke to the daughter was because the daughter, when she got diagnosed with cancer, the daughter, since she wasn't, she had to go in the hospital, she was dealing with that shit. The daughter messaged her close friends in BDO to tell them that she's dealing with cancer now. And that's the only time Blue ever spoke to the daughter. Then Blue decides to message the daughter because the mom blocked her. Hey, I hope your mom is doing all right. I know she's sick from chemo. I know she's sick from chemo. Hartel, that's the boyfriend, is just too toxic and everyone hates him. I hate him. These are other names in the guild that they wanted to leave uh, out of the conversation. Blank hates him. Blank hates him. And I know Cass, the GM, the mom, is just clinging onto him because they dated and she's struggling to let go here. He is nothing but negative whenever he opens his mouth and just openly attacks me every time he wants to say something. There was a blow up in council again. Council is their officer chat. And I finally had enough. I told Cass it's either him or me. So he basically said, either you're kicking him from the guild or kicking me from the guild. By the way, he went and said that, you know, they like maliciously kicked him from the guild. He literally gave them an ultimatum. That's why he, and I'm pretty sure he left the guild. He didn't get kicked because she didn't even answer him. And he got pissed and said, that's it. I have to leave. So just to show the type of bull twisting and victimizing he does. He literally said, kick me or him. You know what I mean? And then he tried to make them look like assholes for kicking him. Um, Told Cassie to the him or me because I can't watch as she does this to both herself and myself. Having him around is a poison to her. It does way more emotional damage than good and no one else wants him here. And I, I, that he just harasses the shit out of me and that everyone else hates him. There is no reason she should be keeping him here for any reason. She has chosen him over me. This is going to self-implode the entire guild and I'm hoping you can at least convince your mom that this is a horrible idea and that her ex-boyfriend can fuck off. The rest of us, myself included, just want to see what is best for your mom and are tired of his bullshit myself particularly so he just said everyone and then he said myself and i'm trying to remove him as a problem in both her life the guild and my own please talk to her again i love her to death and wish her the best but i can't do this anymore watching him constantly bring negativity down on myself and just being around gives negativity to your mom as well he's also like by the way this is the daughter he's talking to he's also likely sleeping with someone else in the goddamn guild now as well the mom's ex-boyfriend first of all there's no reason to even why would anybody care ex-boyfriend Second of all, dude, you're, you're, you're somebody he's sleeping with somebody else in the guild now. And I'm just so done with this fucking guy. I can't see straight. I cannot figure why she wants him around and I don't want to watch it destroys her. Her response, the daughter's response. Are you OK? First, why are you messaging me? Second, why are you fucking with, with my mom while she's sick? Why are you fucking with my mom while she's sick? Third, why is her personal business any of yours? And why would you send that? That alone shows that this man is a fucking degenerate psychopath. If this was the real world, do you know what would happen to this guy if this wasn't internet bullshit? Like, if he did some creepy shit behind someone's back like this? Do you know what you would do to somebody? That's... Dude, dude, this alone is, like, psycho creepy bullshit. Asmongold, when Asmongold watched and interviewed Blue, he was not aware of this stuff, this situation, the psycho bullshit this guy did. And Blue tried, Blue has reported this video numerous times. Thankfully, he's reported numerous aspects of the video. But thankfully, all YouTube made me do was blur this out. Because I, I had this, the first two letters of Blue's last name in here. Because I showed a screenshot of when he leaked his information and how he was careless with his information and the school's name. I had that all blurred out, but I, I, apparently the first letter of his last name wasn't blurred out. So he that they wanted me to fix. But everything else he tried to tried to uh, say was – like he tried saying um, – here, I showed this at the end. Let me know. You don't have to choke while you're doing – Because this was – like he tried saying he didn't deserve to be fired as a streamer. And like, bro, you do shit like this. You're saying that – you don't have to choke while you deep throw. Bro, you're teaching it at all girls Catholic school. You don't – you're not going to stay a teacher, bro. That's it. Like there's no surprise you got fired. Don't blame the school. Don't blame anybody. You shouldn't have been streaming th like this while teaching. End the story. But he tried th like this. He timestamped this and said this is leaking personal information. He talked about teaching at a school. He talked about teaching at an old girl's school numerous times. He's talked about Catholic school girls being hot. 
saying that Catholic go- girls are hot. He's literally said shit like that on stream. I wish I had it because I could have put that in here. That would have been fucking hilarious. Guys, I'm fucking weirdo, bro. I'm sorry. Get fucked. Even, uh... Is there anything else? I don't want to dwell too much. But... Dude, that, to me, this is the biggest thing that I should have harped on more. This, I think, is psychotic, insane psychotic behavior. You don't do this as a 30-year-old man. Take the time to write. Take the time to... Dude, he didn't even know her, her fucking Discord. You understand? He took the time. He said, what's Cass's daughter's name? And we, we left the person out, and they said, uh, don't don't bring her into it. And he goes, oh, I, uh, he found it. And then said, oh, I just DM'd her. This is madness. She's, he, he literally asked around to get the daughter's name, to message the daughter, because he needed to fucking message the daughter. This fucking wall of text. Dude, that is fucked up. You are a psychopath. I'm, I'm crazy for obsessing like this, right? I'm a little crazy for this already. But what he did is way more insane, bro. That is insane. I can't get it out enough. Yeah, like, I just want people to know, bro. Because when I see people, like, not knowing this shit... Yeah, I'm a detective, man. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. Like, the thing is, like, he tries to act innocent. But, bro, you... Look look at all these... Look how you spread the story. X killed, found out where you work. That's how you portrayed your story. People literally put it in fucking articles. Unlucky school teachers fired because people leak Some of his old... It, all these articles blame the gaming buddies. And it was fake, dude. It was false. Nobody did a, Nobody did contact the school. He has zero proof for that. You would have proof, you little fucking false crybaby. Your father works there. Your father would have got the answers. He would have had the truth if that actually happened. Yeah, this was from Officer Chat. You know, that's the GM. That's the boyfriend. We didn't split over an illness, you sack of shit. Because he literally... Is the message in here? Yeah, here. This is an Officer Chat. And he goes, I will go ahead and explain it to you. Because they were talking about... um. Blue kicked somebody from the guild without permission from the officers. And so Hartel was kind of pissed about it. And he goes, I will, I will, and he goes, you got to explain why you did that, why you, uh, you know, went over the council to kick somebody because you're supposed to talk to the council. And he goes, I will go ahead and explain it to you when you explain why you broke up with your girlfriend when she had cancer. That, you know, like, bro, that's fucking, that's a shitty move, man. You already, and then he, this is the thing. He started doing this shit right before getting kicked, right before he got fired. I get it, but it's, it's, it's almost like you were looking to cause problems. Like, you were stirring shit up, man. That's fucked up to say, dude. Yeah, like, why are you doing that to begin with? Why are you bringing that shit up anyway, man? We were hoping, dude. There's a, there's an Asmongold post somewhere. I don't know who made it. I wish I knew I, somebody was going to make it because they did a shitty job making it. Because all they did, this is the title they put. Blue Squadron called out by well-known BDO player. Eh, they didn't even, like, link the, you know, they linked the video. They didn't, like, attach the thumbnail and shit. This is kind of like a bad... And the amount of doubt, the amount of people... Because he, he, he 100% told people to downvote it when it came out. Because he don't want that getting out there. Anybody wants to upvote that? Just saying. It's never, I'm sure it's never too late. Keep that shit going. Fuck that guy, man. It's all you have to do to put an end to that guy. I have... You know what it is, dude? I can literally... I can handle a discussion about this. I tried, bro. We tried with Blue. I tried to get him to talk about it. He would just block me. Because we were talking about it in the partner Discord, and some people got upset, or whatever. The GMs were like, dude, you guys shouldn't argue here, or whatever. And he got pissed, because I brought it up in there. And I was like, go ahead and enlighten me, because he said my facts were incorrect. So I said, let me know which facts are incorrect. I'm, I, you know, I'll talk about it. And he goes, with respect, you already tried to clip things out of context. I never took anything out of context. Never. Nothing I would bring to light would be used in a genuine way. You only wish to do harm to myself and career. I wish you all the best. And then he blocked me, so I couldn't respond. And then he unblocked me. They complained about the video over and over. And in the, what he did was, because in the video, it showed two letters of his name were in um, blurred or whatever, which, okay, so what, bro? Everybody knows your fucking name. If they want your name, they know it. The whole fucking BDO has it. Um, I immediately blurred it out once he asked me to. And then he's then, then th- that's what annoyed me. I immediately blurred it out when he asked me to, and he went around saying YouTube forced me to. They did it. So then I unblurred it, and he reported it again to YouTube, and then YouTube messaged me and was like, yeah, you blurred something and unblurred it, and we think you need to re-blur that because blah, blah, blah. So anyway, fuck that guy, man. Who, me? The fuck do you think streaming is? 90% of streamers just chat PvP. At least I play games, bro. At least I can game. I can game on kids in a fucking game, all right? One of the best warriors in BDO. But most of these streamers just fucking chat PvP. Are you kidding me? Don't dare say that to me. The fuck? I'm one of the only streamers that can actually play the game. 
Oh, okay, okay, just making sure. <laughs> Fuck. I was gonna say, because a lot of people hate on me for that shit, and it's like... Bro, once a month, I could bring up some shit. Yeah, I could fucking do some chat PV, bring it, you know, bring up some shit like this. I don't want to hear. I, I ain't getting shit for it. Fucking bitch. 